to the 142nd Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, the Whippet, an athletic sighthound breed, originally from England, takes over Chase Square in Madison Square Garden to celebrate 125 years and the renowned competition. It's Gail miller Beischer, and I'm the Director of Communications for the Westminster Kennel Club. We're thrilled to celebrate the return of the 142nd Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show to Madison Square Garden February 12th and 13th with a live telecast on FS1. Today we're honoring a milestone year for one of our wonderful breeds, the Whippet, who is celebrating 125 years of competing at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. This athletic breed hails from Northern England in the early 18th century and was originally bred to hunt hare in open fields. Speed, agility, and a tenacious temperament were required to handle the job. This quick, powerful sight hound can travel at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. While a favorite among hunters centuries ago, today this clean, affectionate, and playful hound loves to please its owners and be part of the family. Whippets were first exhibited at the Westminster Kennel Club show in 1893. They were initially a member of the sporting group. But in 1930, the breed joined the newly formed hound group with much success. Since then, Whippets have had have won the Hound Group five times in 1958, 1964, 1965, 1981, and most recently in 2010. The first and to date only Whippet to win Best in Show at Westminster was English and American champion Courtenay Fleetfoot of Pennyworth in 1964. Ricky, as he was known, was a British import handled by the famed handler Robert Forsyth and was reported to have moved as smoothly as a well-oiled machine and possess a compact fitness in a streamlined body. At last year's show, we had 45 streamlined whippets competing. The Westminster Kennel Club is America's oldest organization dedicated to purebred dogs. Established in 1877, Westminster's influence has been felt for more than a century through its famous all-breed dog show held every year at New York's Madison Square Garden. For more information about our Westminster Week events presented by Purina ProPlan, visit westminsterkennelclub.org. Tickets are now on sale at msg.com or at the Madison Square Garden box office. Now, we would like to mark this banner year for the Whippet by celebrating this over, with this oversized dog cake, which was created by Carlos Bakery, the bakers behind Cake Boss. We're so excited to have 17 Whippets here with their breeders, owners, and handlers today to honor this breed. Now let's gather the dogs around the cake to celebrate the 125th anniversary of competing at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. This is Rourke and Mars. Um, they're four and five years old. They love to be on the couch and run for about a half hour a day and then sleep the rest of the day. And have they been at the Westminster Dog Show she before? She has, yes. And any um, success? I, I think she made the cuts. I didn't show her. A friend did. Okay. She's not my dog. I just brought her for the event. And, and how are they as far as a family dog? They're great. They're great. If they're, um, you get a dog from a good breeder with a good temperament, they should be fine with kids. Um, my dog was not brought up with kids, but he's still fine with them. But he came from a great breeder. And tell me about maintenance. You gotta bathe them once in a while when they stink and do their nails, and that's about it. They do shed, um, even though it's short hair, but there's not a lot to them. They are um, an amazing breed. I've owned them for 50 years. Uh, they do require exercise, but they are a fascinating breed to own in that you can do so many different things with them. Um, they do make good city dogs. They also uh, like living in the country. Um, they've become very popular all of a sudden right now. Uh, people are taking tests online uh, uh, about breeds 
and they're coming up with whippets. And sometimes it's not necessarily true. They don't like to be left alone all day by themselves, but um, they're fabulous. Obviously, I wouldn't have had them for 50 years. You know, it's, is it the type of dog that, um, if, if it goes out, will it just run away? Does it have to be like sort of gated if, if you're out out? Doors. They need a fenced yard. They really do. Again, I have many success stories selling dogs to people that live in the city without a fence. It's really the people involved. I don't exclude a home. If they don't have a fence, I meet them and they're either going to be responsible or they're not. But yes, they are very attracted to people, kids, other dogs, and they don't know about cars. So it is the number one thing that kills them, uh, being hit by a car. So to keep them safe, yes, a fenced yard or a good firm leash. And have any of them been to the Westminster Dog Show oh, before? Oh, yes, yes. And it, it's wonderful to be a part of Westminster. Uh, they have. I have done well at Westminster in the past. Um, we will be back this year. And, yes, Westminster is wonderful because it promotes the purebred dog. Very important. That, and, and where are you coming from? Stowe, Massachusetts. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I do therapy dog uh, work with Whippets. They're very great about that. We're glad to be here at Westminster and uh, Keller Club. And I would like to tell you about this dog. It has some very special credentials. She's the first American, first and only American bred um, UKC champion. That's uh, the English champion title, which is the hardest title to get anywhere, and an AKC champion title. So she's, she's, um, Used in the uh, cover, she's on the cover of In the Company of Dogs. She's a professional model in her other life. Oh, what's, what's her name? Magnolia. Yeah. Magnolia. And just tell me about her therapy work. Uh, well, uh, we, have, we aren't certified yet for this, but my other whippets have been, so they make wonderful therapy dogs. And so we do basic obedience, and then the next step is with Therapy Dog International. We would walk around wheelchairs and walkers and meet with a group. And so we visit nursing homes and hospitals, and uh, it's a wonderful, it's very rewarding. And their temperament is great for that. Thank you. This is Tristan. He lives here in the city. We came on the A train this morning. He was a very good job on the good dog on the A train, even when there was signal trouble, even when the train was um, stopped for sick passenger. So we're very proud of him. And he was bred in Manhattan. We bred a litter here 18 months ago, and this was our pick. This is Tristan. And for he doesn't live in Manhattan all of the time. When um, Tristan is not in Manhattan, he goes out on trail with our thoroughbred horses, and that's how he stays in shape. See, if he's on trail with the horses, does he run away or anything? He does not. I mean, he had to be trained. I mean, they'd like to go off off trail and hunt, but they can be trained to come back, and he's got he's got a solid recall. The A train, and I I saw delays on that today. Oh yeah, we had we we were we had to change trains twice. We wound up coming on the local. But he was fabulous. He was good with the other passengers. He was patient. He was relaxed. He was fearless. I was very proud of him on the A train. Did, did they give you any trouble bringing a dog on the train? In this case, no. Okay. I'm Robin Bray. I'm from Fairlawn, New Jersey. And I am so glad to be at Westminster because I met the breed, I meet the breed at Westminster last year, the day before the show. And I thought about the Whippet, just did some research, and it sealed the deal for us. We met a lot of breeders there. We spoke to everybody at the table at Meet the Breed. And from there, I got connected with Iva from Mercy Isle Whippets. And um, we waited for her puppies to be born. And she's just a wonderful dog. Graceful, funny, um, elegant. Um, she doesn't bark much, but she likes to talk to her food. She'll bark at her food a little bit, like saying, I'm very excited that my food is here. Um, but she's just a showstopper. Even just walking down the street, everybody wants to touch her. And everyone wants to see her run, because when she's at full speed, she is just incredible. Just incredible to see. Uh, do you have a lot of space? Uh... We live on 27 acres of parkland. Okay. So um, we do get a chance to run around with friends. And she has a whole social life. She has a lot of friends. She's a very social dog. She's very content to meet uh, uh, anybody, people, children. Um, she's happy to see anybody in our house, outside, inside. She's really quiet inside, active outside, and that, that worked for our family. And good with children? Great with children. Loves children. Loves yeah, it really does, really does. Brady? Well, I knew him since he was born. 
Um, I've watched him grown up, and he's almost two now. He was the only baby. We had to bottle feed him. It's because his mom didn't want him, so we had to adopt him into the family. He's named after Tom Brady. He's a Patriots fan. Yes, a force. Are you coming from Boston area? Um, I do. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay, Brady. <laughs> Hopefully you'll stand for the, the uh, national anthem. <laughs> yeah, he will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. To learn more about Whippets, go to WestminsterKennelClub.org or the AmericanWhippetClub.net. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Madison Square Garden. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show.